So with the Adobe Creative Cloud, you can create up to 10,000, more than 10,000 images as part of your Creative Cloud plan on the Adobe Firefly website. And we're gonna be testing this, putting it to the test. Now, if you're a student, you can get a massive discount on the Creative Cloud plan. Use the link in the description. So we are here with an example and we can actually go and take a look at some of the other examples. We're gonna use some of the prompts from other users. We're also gonna look at prompting from Ideogram and Playground as well. First thing we'll do is try this prompt and see what sort of results we can get. Hey tech lovers, meet the Arzoba Z1RC, your best in portable monitors. With its brilliant 2.5K QHD resolution and best of class 500 nits of brightness, you're getting unparalleled visuals for work and play. Enjoy true to life colors with 100% sRGB coverage, all in a sleek, lightweight, portable design. You need flexibility? The Z1RC delivers with the dual USB-C and mini HDMI ports, making it the perfect companion for any device, Mac, Windows, and the best part, you get all this top tier performance without breaking the bank. Upgrade your display game with the Arzopa Z1RC today. Now I'm not going to be cherry picking. So if it doesn't work very well, you'll see the results and we'll be able to compare maybe with some of the other platforms there like Playground, like Ideogram. And you can see here with that particular prompt, these are the results we got. And honestly, honestly, it did not take too long. This looks good. This looks good. This looks excellent. This looks excellent. So I think that's a pretty impressive result. We can go ahead and change the aspect ratio. I think widescreen. Let's see what that does. And with the widescreen, I do notice that it does produce a little bit of distortion in a couple of the images, but this one looks awesome. It looks perfect, actually. And it looks like it's really respecting the aspect ratio and producing something that's suitable for the aspect ratio. This one looks good as well. Now you can find lots of examples on the Firefly. Now this is all going to be mainly Firefly 3, which is the latest model. I think we can, let's do something steampunk. Why not? We get the same options that we have inside of Photoshop. So we can choose photo and see what that looks like with the prompt. A lot of the prompting just seems very similar to the kind of prompts that we have inside of Stable Diffusion. All of these, I think, are pretty good. These are the results and yeah, they look good. I think this one particularly looks awesome. Now down here, we've got the features that we've turned on for this particular prompt. We can reduce the intensity of the style and maybe choose a reference image. So the reference image will affect the, the output. Uh, I'm not sure what's there in the gallery, but maybe something steampunky here, or maybe some kind of artistic style. There's quite a lot there, but it's kind of hard to see. So it probably looks very small on your screen, but we've got popular options. We've got watercolor, we've got pencil, and we've got architectural sketch. Let's try 3D. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but now this is going to be impacting to the level that we turned up the style. So I don't know, maybe turn this up a little bit more, see exactly what impact it gives. And the results are pretty awesome. I really like the look of this really blocky 3D style. Now, as you can see here, there are lots and lots of options that you can use as your, oh, look at this one. I think as we come to Halloween, there'll be a lot of really weird looking images. And some of these look pretty awesome, as you can tell, different styles, different prompts. Lots of inspiration. Let's try some inspiration from a different website. Now we'll start off actually at Playground. Now with Playground, a lot of their prompting is very familiar. So let's go ahead and choose this prompt here and see if we can get it to work with the kind of aspect ratios on Firefly. Now with a playground website, you get different models. So you can choose, I suppose that's why they call it playground. You can choose playground version 2.53 beta. You can choose SDXL as well. Now you missed it, but it did say that one of the, one of the prompts were, were, was removed because it didn't meet their guidelines. Let's change the view. You can see these images are very, very different from the ones on playground. 
but they do look kind of, they've got that sort of vibe of alien city with very very alien stuff going on and there's a little <laughs> annoying sign so i did them in portrait and we can take a look at the portrait renditions still the same kind of theme very different style from the playground uh, design let's see if we can play around with the styles again let's see if we can let's go to movements and try art nouveau and see what that does so you can choose from a wide wide range of different styles and you can choose from color tones lighting and camera angle as well uh, i think this one particularly looks awesome here guy looks like he's ready for business this here is ideogram and ideogram is very different from the the, the other the other models out there and we see lots and lots of the, that sort of halloween theme going on one thing i found is that ideogram has a way with text that no other no other model can do and I am not even going to try to copy anything that has text in it because I know it's not going to turn out well. We'll copy the prompt or we'll copy the magic prompt and see how that works inside of photo, uh, Firefly. So I've chosen as my style or my settings just in an attempt to match the, the images that we saw previously. Square, we've chosen photo and we've chosen no style, warm tone, backlighting, shallow depth of field. And you can see the images here are pretty reminiscent of the images inside of ideogram look at that that's that's amazing let's take a closer look that's pretty amazing that one is really cool and that one's a different color okay that's cool now one thing you might notice is that there's a little mouse here on the ideogram and that's something which is actually prompted but we didn't see that inside of the firefly so one image that ideogram had real problems with was this one here it was supposed to be a an explosive device just shooting out olive oil and these were supposed to be olives let's try this one inside of photoshop inside of firefly and see how that works so i did it a few times and these were the best ones that i got and this one i really like i like the look of this one but looking at the prompt i think we can actually do something better because we can turn the grenade into a bunch of olives so with a little bit of prompt engineering we got this and we got this and we got this and we got this so the resolution isn't quite as high as the other as the other models but overall the styling is fantastic i like the color i prefer i change the colors but yeah i really like this i think this is a pretty decent load there and you've got all these options here to try the lighting the styles and so on a lot to work with there and like i say a thousand images a month which is not too bad 